So, hello, hello, and welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Racy, and I'm bringing you a message in divine time. <laughs> Someone needs this. So, I want to tell you what I just went through, because I don't believe in coincidences. I was guided to go live and pull cards for an almost personal reading. I felt like someone needed a message, okay? But I had already started doing laundry. I had clothes in my washer and it's loud and my studio is in the basement as most of you well know. So I was like, all right, I'm not gonna go live with the washer going. I'll take a picture of the cards instead. So I sat down at my table and pulled the cards, took my phone back upstairs, figured I'd, you know, I'll record it in the bedroom, it's nice and quiet, and I'll just sync the video together with the pictures and create it that way. Got upstairs, realized my phone was dying, so I had to grab my charger, plug it in behind my bed, which I had to move the mattress out of the way to get it in there. My glasses were in my way. I couldn't see the outlet. I didn't want to, you know, have them on my face with my face up against the bed. So I took off my glasses and still couldn't see the outlet. So reached in there and fell around and got it on the first try, which was awesome. Plugged in my phone, sat down to record the reading audio for it realized I had left the guidebook downstairs for the guidance cards and I was really actually guided to read from the book for the guidance cards and then I realized some of the pictures that I took were blurry <laughs> so even having my glasses back on couldn't save me I, there's no way I was going to be able to make the video the way I wanted and I was like you know what fuck it I'm just going to wait for the washer to be done and I'm going to go down and record the reading live because that was my original gut feeling. Why is all that important? Well, I don't believe in coincidences. I don't believe in coincidences, especially when it comes to energy. So whoever's energy I'm tuning into is dealing with a lot of background noise and it's annoying. A lot of background noise that's annoying. And they really might need to separate themselves from the annoying energies for a moment. Just so they could be in the quiet. Maybe they need to remove the blocks and get them out of the way. Take off their glasses or the perspective that they think is seeing clearly or helping them see clearly when in fact it's in their way. And they just need to go for it blindly in trust and faith because they'll get it on the first try. Maybe, maybe you don't need what you think you need. Your glasses your charger, your guidebook, whatever it is. Maybe you just need to listen to your initial gut feeling. Maybe the solution is to simply be patient and let what is annoying Finish what it's doing. <laughs> Let it be so that you can simply do what you were guided to do from the beginning. Listen to your gut as it was from the beginning. So I'm going to go live in a little bit once my laundry is done in the washing machine. And I'm going to read the cards and give you the message the way it was intended. And I'm going to read the guidance for you so that it can resonate as it was originally intended. Because whatever you're going through, 
the solution is your gut. There's a million other solutions that you could come up with. But none of them will work. All the solutions your mind can think of wouldn't work because it's not the solution your soul gave you. It's not the gut feeling your soul gave you. So I will see you soon. This message resonated with you in divine time. I'll be reading for you soon. Take care till then.